the first step in the preparation is incisal reduction of 2 mm using a wheel or a donut shaped burr. Step 2 is making a supra gingival finish line using a chamfer burr. The finish line should be equi gingival and should, it should be around 1 mm. You make this finish line on the buccal surface in the interproximal area and on the lingual surface. So this is how you make the supra gingival preparation that is a chamfer finish line. In the step 3 you take a taper fissure burr, you go 2 mm sub gingival and you remove the finish line on all the four sides. So basically the finish line is your road map to do equal preparation on all the four surfaces of the two. Here you can see how nicely the taper fissure burr goes 2 mm sub gingival and it removes the finish line in both buccal and the lingual area. You check for the ledges in the subgingival area and with the help of the same taper fissure burr you can remove the ledges and at the end of your preparation basically the finish line is a knife edge or a feather edge which is not visible with your naked eye. The last step is to round off all the sharp line angles. After this you check the fit of the crown. The crown should be passively fitted and then you cement the crown using lutein glass inomer cement.